Today we're experiencing the world's best business class that is literally like some of the best first classes, however, for cheap. And it is officially time to board this insane business class that is supposedly better than some of the world's best first classes. With having amenities with the world's largest bed on an airplane, room service on demand 24 seven, and not to mention, I got this for the price of an economy class ticket. Hello. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world's best business class. Oh, perfect. Thanks so much. One, this is the best way to this is the best way to start off. Yeah. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my suite. And I know this sounds insane. This business class suite is bigger than a lot of first classes. With first having this massive sliding door. And literally everything about the seat is super sized. Like I guess you could call this my armrest. Which doubles as a second seat, has a huge hidden storage place underneath, and can even go up and down to any height you want. And even things that normally aren't massive are. Like just take a look at this massive control panel, I guess you would say. Having any function you would ever want on an airplane. And then literally everything that could be taken in the next level is. Like there's just not some normal airplane table. No, no, no. There's white Italian marble. And also just first impressions here, this suite does not feel anything like business. The TV is freaking massive. And they have some of the most options I've ever seen on an airplane <laughs> with having over 4,000 options. Exactly. And along with the TV, TV, you don't get a remote, but you get a freaking iPhone. That has one of the coolest features I've seen of being able to watch two movies at the same time. So if you want to watch Harry Potter and Interstellar at the same time, you can do that. And then they even have like the little things. Like on the side here, you have a coat hanger and the most beautiful reading light I've ever seen. And then the most perfectly hidden table here, which as you'll see later, is going to be covered by a meal that's award-winning. Now, although this is a business class, the seat itself is one of the most expensive designed ones on any of with being hand-stitched with Italian leather and satin rose gold finishing. And in terms of things that you can do in this seat, your mind will be blown. With having four different features of seating, of one, the relaxing feature, two, the bed feature, and three, the eating feature. Also, of course, you can adjust each part of the seat itself just manually. And also, definitely my favorite feature on the control pad is you can get a freaking massage. And you can also raise the armrest up and down to your preferable height. And of course, the legroom is unfreaking believable with having this like foot rest here slash cushion area and I'm pretty tall and I can't reach my feet back. My mind is absolutely blown and we haven't even explored the craziest thing in this room. Okay, now Qatar calls this seat a business class, but I've never seen more expensive amenities before. Like, the bag itself is created by Italian luggage brand Bricks. And then inside, you have, of course, an eye mask. And then some really nice beauty crop of anti-aging moisture. Hydrating facial mist. I'm hydrated now. The most fancy lip balm I've ever seen. Also, probably my favorite amenity. We have beautiful, cushiony slippers. And of course, the pajama made for air travel. And along with the tangible amenities, there's also virtual ones of the super Wi-Fi, which let me tell you, is not only 100% free, but is definitely the absolute fastest I have ever seen on an aircraft. It just keeps getting better and better, and it's almost time for the award-winning meal. excited about on this plane was the award-winning meal service. You see they have one of the best food and drink selections out of any level. You can just take a look through the wine menu and they show you the bottles of champagne and wine that they offer. You're ready for dinner, sir? Yes. yes. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Oh my gosh, here we go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is caviar in business class. Something that I have never seen. In front of us, we have the first course of the homemade smoked salmon with caviar and garnished with citrus cream and apple shavings. And I mean, just taking a look at it, it looks like it literally is from a Michelin star restaurant and the taste is absolutely mind blowing. Wonderful, thank you. So in front of us for course number two, we went with the chef specialty of the chicken kapsa. That's a base of rice mixed with delicious chicken, fried onions, cashew nuts, raisins, and mint raita. Also, all these dishes on Qatar are made to be paired with a drink. So for us, that's a beautiful champagne rosé. And let me tell you, when you take a bite of the chicken kapsa and have a sip of the champagne rosé, it takes it to the absolute next level. So cool. 
Okay, now for course number three, we have a beautiful chocolate delight topped with hazelnut, chocolate sauce, and garnished with raspberry. And of course, it's also paired with a Hungarian dessert wine. And I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love the pairings. However, I'm starting to have a lot of drinks lining up now. <laughs> and a quilted mattress. Literally a mattress. And Qatar also offers something that I've never seen in the first class, let alone a business class of offering double beds to couples traveling together. Which, if you compare it to any other airplane bed, is the largest in the world. And it's a freaking business class. Wait, my mind. And let me tell you guys, we aren't sleeping one minute on this plane. We have... Take the beef burgers with cheddar cheese. I'd like to have wine. You okay. have Bordeaux, you okay. have Shiraz. Bordeaux is good. Yeah. Bordeaux is good. Awesome. Okay, now as we wait for the possibly the fanciest and coolest midnight snack of the burgers, let me tell you possibly the coolest thing about this bed slash movie theater. Of the feature of being able to use your own earbuds to watch a movie. Which of course for me are the Sony noise cancelling earbuds. Which let me tell you is my number one travel hack as they have exceptional sound quality, but also literally the longest listening power I've ever seen with being 24 hours with a charging case. They're fully water resistant, have precise voice pitch pickup technology, and overall, the new industry's leading noise-canceling earbuds. And honestly, for me, having these noise-canceling earbuds not only takes the experience of traveling to the very next level, as you can watch a movie or listen to music without hearing the airplane sounds, but also it just makes life easier with being able to listen to music all day long without charging them. So thank you to Sony for sponsoring and making my travels so much more comfortable. And if you want to pick up a pair of these, be sure to click the link in the description, as these are seriously the best earbuds on the market. But anyway, it seems the like burgers are arriving. Oh, that was like amazing. Oh my god, this is officially the most epic midnight snack I have ever had. Like, where am I right now and how is this all for the price of an economy class ticket? In front of us, we of course have the beef and chicken sliders. Which are made to absolute perfection with having a beautiful bun and burger patty, but also covered with heaps of cheese and also of course paired with a cup of Bordeaux red wine. And I honestly feel like I've hacked my way into a first class experience for the price of an economy class ticket. I love life. Okay, so I've officially pulled off an all-nighter watching Harry Potter and I couldn't be more excited because right now it's breakfast time. It's supposedly the most legendary meal of this entire flight. Please allow me. Wonderful. Thank you very much for waiting. So for breakfast, we have an absolute feast of different things from what only can be described as the fluffiest pancakes of all time, topped with maple syrup, raspberries, strawberries, and of course, fresh Cool Whip. And we of course have the most beautiful croissant I've ever seen on a plane before with luxurious jams and honeys. And then on the side we have a berry yogurt with delicious granola, some various fruits, a legendary cappuccino that makes you feel like you're in a cafe, and then surprisingly a delicious strawberry smoothie. Normally on a plane you'll get like a hot pocket for breakfast. Better than even a freaking restaurant. And everything is a Okay, now I never thought I'd say this, but welcome to the insanely awesome bathroom. And this bathroom is definitely one of the best I've ever seen, with of course being bigger than normal ones, but also having a freaking window above the toilet, allowing you to watch the sky when you, uh, when you go. <laughs> and also in this bathroom, you have some awesome practical amenities of, of course, toothbrushes, some super fancy lotion, and not one, but two different type of mirrors. So 
The route I'm flying right now is Houston to Doha. And typically the price from Houston to Doha, well, it's, it's insanely pricey for business class. However, I certainly did not pay this price. You see, to get business class for an economy price, you have to think of continent, not just the country you're going to when choosing the route of your flight. As prices are not based on the length of your flight, but more so the starting airport of your journey and the ending airport. So for example, if you start and end in two cities with insanely high demand for business class, the prices, they're just gonna be insane. However, if you choose one or better, two cities that have a smaller demand, the price instantly falls, making the rate you pay literally under the price for an economy ticket. So all you have to do is just play around with the departure and more importantly, the ending city. Like you could honestly be going to Doha, but technically you could just choose the ending airport to a city that has low demand for business class and the price changes completely. And obviously it matters to be a little bit flexible and planning ahead of time, but really the most important thing is choosing that starting and ending scene. And it's seriously that easy. You can do this on any flight. So please, I urge you, I urge you to do this because I'm honestly, this was one of the coolest experiences of any airplane. This has literally been some of the best 14 hours of my life. Like they even gave us a going away present. So one of the best flight journeys of all time. Business, first class, everything. One of the best airplane experiences of all time. Like even at the arrivals, there's a bus that's special for first class passengers with these massive throne chairs. How is this real? <laughs>